Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about King Megagon and how to defeat him in Operation Megagon. So King Megagon can be a really hard boss if you don't have enough DPS. Because the, the longer the fight is, you can basically take this fight as long as you want. But the longer it is, the more mana your healer is getting down. So let's get into business. So here we have the spells that King Megagon is actually doing. And he actually has two phases. And trust me, me and my group, when we did him first time, we were shocked. When we finished stage one that we probably wiped a lot on, we were like, what the fuck? What is happening right now? Why is the floor moving? And we found out stage two was beginning. And we were like, oh, the healer has zero man mana back. God damn it. Um, so King Megagon is a really, really intense fight and the healer really has to look out for his mana. So let's go through each spell on, you can see what does King Megagon do? Because when you know what exactly what to do with the faces, you will have no problem killing him. So on stage one, he has a spell called Pulse Blast. So the tank that got aggro or whoever got aggro, he will keep getting Pulse Blast. So it's basically just a blast. He just shoots and shoots and shoots on his main target all the time. It deals 100k damage and it's just a standard attack. It just shoots and shoots and shoots. Plasma Orb is small plasma orbs he's going to place around the map. It's about three plasma orbs he's going to place. And if you walk into the plasma orbs, you're getting 50k damage. And sometimes, about every 30 seconds, he's going to use something called replacement. So he's going to move all these plasma orbs to a new location. And you can see arrows on the floor where they're going to, to get a new position on. And it's very important that you actually go to the... Well, you, you don't stand in front of one of those arrows because then you will get 50k hit and you will get a knock. And be aware, you can actually be knocked out of this boss fight over the edges. The last one, well, not the last one, the, the third, third one he has is called Giga Sap. He's going to choose a randomly target who's going to be sapped, and the Giga Sap deals a lot of damage. And it's very important when one of you gets the Giga Sap on, it can be the healer, it can be the DPS, it will shoot a sap directly at you, and it will hit everyone in that path. So that means everyone in front of you and everyone back in behind you. So it's very important when you begin to cast on you that you stay up, you have to find a position where no one is in front of you and no one is behind you. You know, the sap is going directly through you. So it's very important no one is behind you or just in front of you. And Giga Sap, it's, it's, it's actually dealing 100% more damage if you already have one Giga Sap on you. So if you get twice you will never get twice but if, if for example one of your teammates get it and you stay close to him and you also get hit by it and then you get hit by it after after that you would get 200 percent increased damage that's oof, that's that's a lot maybe some will not survive that the last thing he does is taking off so take off so sometimes he's actually flying up in the air every time everyone is getting like 50k damage all the time like boom 50 50 50 50 50 and he's also following one and if you get beneath him you're getting 80k damage all the time like every second boom 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 so he's going to follow one it's very important that person runs around and one thing that other dps's can do in this phase is helping healing so that means in this phase here where he's basically just flying of course ranger dps has to damage the bus but if you have some other healers that can help you can they can do a little healing here but this is basically the, the phase one stage one where you're just repeating this all the time on stage two when you actually kill him in his mount he's then going to stun you all the floor is getting up so it's getting from below to up so it's like moving up and then you are now on the you can say next floor where king megagon he's jumping inside a very big robot and here it's almost the same the only thing that is has changes that you, the bus doesn't have any more takeoff and he doesn't have any more takeoff um, so he's not flying now he's a robot but let's go through the spells that he actually can do in phase two so he has a thing called magneto arm he's going to place um magneto well uh yeah, he's going to place a magneto behind the behind the you can say behind the boss fight, so where healers and the ranger damage dealers are standing, and then he's going to draw everyone into it. If you get into it, 
you're pretty much dead. So it's very important when he casts that, you just try to run away from it as far as you, you just have to get away from it ASAP. It's just very important. He casts that about every minute, every 30 seconds or something like that. So it's very important every time he put that out, you move away. The tank and the melee damage dealers will probably never see this one here because they are so close to the tank that they will never see that this one happened. But the ranged and healers, it's very important that they move or else it will hurt like hell. Then he also has a player, um, Giga Sap, like stage 1 has. So he's going to do these Giga Saps where he's going to, cheer, to attack a random party member. And this time it's the, the, the beam he's going to shoot out is way bigger. Before it was just a little line, now it's a big line on the entire floor. And it's very important. How I recommend you do it is that the person who gets this, he doesn't move. He just stands still and then the rest of the team is actually moving away from him. Because if he begins to run around, he's probably failing and hit someone. So it's very important when he gets Giga Zap and you can see the big area on the floor where the Giga Zap is going to be. Stand still and the four of them and the team have to move to the sides. Very important. And he does like three to four Giga Zaps in a row. So like beam, 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 beam. And it's very important you don't get hit twice because else it will deal a lot of damage. He also has the plasma orbs like phase 1 where he's going to place some orbs on the floor that is moving sometimes and when they move they deal damage if you get hit out by them and they can also push you. So if you're staying close to the edge where the boss is and then you get hit one of, both, one of these plasma orbs, you're getting pushed down. <laughs> Trust me, I died a couple of times as a tank because I get pushed over the edge. Embarrassing but that's how it is. And then the most important one called Protocol 99. If he doesn't have anyone, he can melee range. So if everyone is running away from the bus, so he doesn't have anyone he can melee, he's just going to spam 200k damage every second to everyone in the area. I mean, in the whole room. So if no one is in melee range for him, he's basically just spamming AoE spells all the time that will kill everyone in five seconds, probably. So that's why it's very important that everyone is always in melee range in this fight. And after that, you're finished. So, I mean, this is pretty much the fight. And if you understand these mechani mechanics, it's a pretty simple fight, actually. I mean, this is probably the boss I have been wipe wiping most on my entire World of Warcraft career. Um, but again, it was really fun. But it's very important you have high DPS so your healer doesn't have to Staying and heal in combat for over 5-10 minutes, That's uh, it can really hurt. So now I'm actually just going to play the whole gameplay we had when defeating the boss. So enjoy the gameplay and uh, well, see you in the next episode and thanks for watching.
Thank you.